going next. L.S. Steve Morse with the song Cruise Missile. The song is Cruise Missile. Cruise Missile? When do cruise... Cruise boats? They don't have missiles, right? They don't have, like, war infrastructure on their... They're not like a battleship, right? How good are you on that base back there? Uh, pretty amateurish. The base matches your style. Thanks. Uh... Dude, I am... Interested to see what kind of cruise missile... No, I think a cruise missile is probably a different thing, right? Like a missile that can itself cruise. Alright, well, let's bring up the video so y'all can watch along with me. Steve Morse. Cruise. Missile. Wait, let's do a little bit of research. Dude, who is Steve Morse? I think we've checked him out before, dude. Steve J. Morse is an American guitarist best known as the founder of the Dixie Dregs and is the guitarist for Deep Purple from 94 to 2022. Yes. Okay, we have re we have visited Steve Morse in the past. We have read that line maybe a few times, so it's just kind of information is embedding itself in me. Kind of like when you listen to a CD, right? The laser can laser cuts away at that plastic, dude. Uh, so, Steve Morse, prolific, live performance is coming up. Da -na 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 -na. Da -da 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 -do -do. How about a 12-minute time limit once in a while? Mm. Uh, maybe... Raise your hand if you would be interested in that. If we, if we get like enough people wanting it, maybe. Because that's a long time. But, dude, if people would be cool with it too, like also, who would be... Who would be up for it? Yeah, just let me know who would be up for, like, you know, checking out 12-minute songs. And of course, that would mean sitting and listening to somebody else's 12-minute track. And I'm sure everybody... So most people wouldn't mind. Most people wouldn't mind. It was only a problem on YouTube because the longer the track, the more opportunity they had to cut us off. Like the copyright holders. I believe it was them who was cutting us off. 12 minutes is long, but there's 13 minute song I've always wanted to send you. Oh, okay. Uh, I quit looking for... Now I want L.S. Lloyd Slash. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, I want to request no quarter from the Madison Square Garden concert. Oh, gotcha. Okay, well... Um, I'm... Okay, maybe. Maybe still. So, yeah, just let me know if you are, like, interested in that. And if we get some interest, then we will. We will do it so let's get into steve morse with the song cruise missile yo blind snipers welcome if we get to 20 minutes let you know and we'll get some tangerine dream <laughs> oh my gosh i remember when we did have the time limit there was no time limit at the beginning and that was a lot of fun <laughs> like but i don't know dude people no i don't know because if it was 20 minutes, dude, people would be hanging out for at least... I, we would turn a 20-minute track into 40 minutes, dude. Probably even like 35. Okay, probably not 40 minutes, right? 30 to 35 minutes. The shorter the song, the easier it is for us to get through, like, tracks and everything. Uh, 
Yo, Cody, welcome. How are you? Okay, so yeah, maybe yeah, once in a while we can do like a long, a long stream, like a, like, yeah, sure, dude. Um, but uh, gosh, that's an interesting prospect. Okay, I'll think about it. Um, also, it would it would just be fun to do. I think. Uh, hey guys, have to work early. Got to get some Z's. Okay, well, thank you for joining us, Tammy. I hope you rest well. Is 7.20 too long for a seven-minute session? Uh, no. No, but uh, today it's 10 minutes. The limit tonight is 10 minutes. But no, 7.20 is not too long for a seven-minute session. That fits. Good night, Tammy. Uh, okay, well, again, I will be thinking about this in the background. Let's get into the music again, dude. We have Steve Morris with the song Cruise Missile. Thanks, everybody, for your, uh, for your, uh, for letting me know what you think. So, let's get into it. Wow, okay. A lot getting thrown at us so far. Uh, the percussion gives me a lot of like Billy Cobham, uh, maybe even a little bit of Van Halen, like Hot for Teacher. Uh, I'm loving the slap bass that's coming in. This is sounding cool already. Let's just back it up. Get back into this. This bass tone is is rocking me, dude. Uh, and that guitar solo reminds me of, like uh, Eric Johnson a little bit. Reminded me just of how much reverb was on it. It sounded so bright and shiny. Yeah, no, this bass is killing me, dude. Let's get back into it. What do you think so far? Talking about docking. Sunday night with John. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, yo, okay, let's take a drink. And we'll get back into this one. Holy crap, who's on base here too? Who is this? Doesn't doesn't tell us. Seems like somebody I would know, but let's just get back into this.
dude, what an interesting mix, dude. We have like a bit of like southern rock uh with this with this bass riff. It's it's kind of bringing a kind of 80s-ness in with the 70s. I don't know how to even explain this. Boom. When when was this, dude? Steve Morse Cruise Missile Live. Let's see if we can find like a date for this real quick. It might have been like 1990. Not too sure though. It's hard to tell, but let's just keep this one going, dude. Uh, yeah, honestly, both bass and guitar are shredding. Uh, Steve Morris is just a god of guitar, and you can tell he is a founding member of Dixie Drugs. So this might be 1984. Okay, okay, gotcha. Uh, I think he was in Deep Purple. I think that's what the wiki said, right? Steve Morse. Uh, I think in 2022 is when he left Deep Purple. Okay, let's get back into it. It's We have like another third. guitar and bass doing that solo at the same time dude that was sick Steve Morse and crew. That was Steve Morse with the song Cruise Missile. I felt like I was a cruise missile. And this is our theme song. Uh, off of the album Outstanding in Their Field. I don't know how accurate that is. Let me know. Let's just actually do our own research. Do Steve Morse, Cruise Missile. Thank you so much, Peaceful. Yeah, it, it literally is get up and literally that's it. Uh... Steve Morse Cruise Missile. Now, this is not the album, The Introduction. This is Okay, this is his first studio album. Cool. Released in 1984. It reached number 101 on the US Billboard 200, number 50 on Billboard's Jazz Albums chart. Whoa, nice. Good job, Steve Morse. Yeah, released 1984. Cool. Uh, and he only has two albums, right? Stand Up is his next one. 
Is that right? Only two albums under his belt, huh? I wonder what happened. Oh, he probably, like, joined, uh, Deep Purple? Well, there was ten years before he joined Deep Purple and then when he stopped doing solo work, so... Uh, maybe it was Kansas? Maybe he was with Kansas? He was briefly with Kansas in the mid-1980s. So, what do you all have to say about that one, dude? That was a lot of fun. Thank you so much, LS.